Hello everyone, welcome back to Home with Mrs. K and thank you for joining me for another one of my Vlogmas videos. Sadly, Vlogmas is almost coming to an end. Today is Christmas Eve Eve, so happy Christmas Eve Eve, Eve day. I cannot believe tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We have waited a whole year long and the day is finally arriving tomorrow and I am so ready. I've got everything ready, everything is organised and yeah. We just all set to go for tomorrow. This morning I went to Tesco to do the big food shop. Oh my goodness, I literally left about 7.45 thinking it would be lovely and empty. It was so packed. I literally feel so sorry for anybody that's got to go this afternoon because there was hardly any stuff left. All the veg was gone nearly. There was no cream, there was no fresh Yorkshire puddings. Some women literally gave me such evils when I took them, but um, I'm just so glad I got them, to be honest. There was hardly any gattos left. There was no ice cream, like, at all. Um, I think they only had mint till I like, but I don't know what's happened to the ice cream. So I've got to pop to Iceland at some point today to pick up for the kids because they're not really big pudding eaters. Like, they don't like Christmas pudding or crumble or custard, so they normally have ice cream or a jelly. So I need to go and get that today. Um, and then I think we're going to just be doing Christmassy stuff today. Simon's finishing work early today, which I'm so excited. We're going to watch some Christmas films. We're going to do some biscuit decorating. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited for today and so excited for tomorrow. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my Christmas food shop before it all melts in the bags. So, I'm going to flip the camera around and then, yeah, just show you guys what I got in Tesco. Right guys, so I have just laid out everything on the table. You're probably thinking, oh my lord, why has she got so much just for four people? <laughs> but this is actually everything. So it's Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. So it is three days worth of stuff. Um, and I have got family coming over Boxing Day. Um, I've even got a cupboard full of stuff there. I, just, I really need to just tidy that out and sort through it. So what I'm going to do is just kind of talk you through what I've got really. So today I spent £86 on most of this. There was just a couple of things that I already had, um, sort of these bits, in the fridge already. But yeah, everything else literally came to just £86 using my club card. So a really, really cheap shop. So I'm going to start with the Boxing Day Buffet. So I'm going to show you what I've got. Pretty standard stuff really. I think everyone kind of has the same, don't they? So, scotch eggs, um, then I like to do a platter of different meats. So I've got some chorizo slices, two packs of the salami, two packs of the cooked beef. This is really, really nice. Sometimes we even have this with um, our roast dinner. Um, packet of ham. I've also got a giant, what are they called? <laughs> oh my gosh, what's it Pork pie. I love a pork pie, especially dipped in brown sauce. I don't know if you guys ever do that, but it's yummy. That was £6, which I don't think was that bad because they were charging £2 for like four little ones. So that should do everybody. And then I got this giant like sausage roll log, which we had last year and it was so yummy. So I got that. That was five quid. Also got this crumbed ham joint. So that looks really, really nice. Got some Edam cheese and then i've also just got a normal yellow cheese and then the red lesser one what else is for boxing day what else for boxing day oh salady bits so i'm going to do like a bowl of salad as well so just some lettuce there some spring onions that i'm going to put in it some little cucumbers look at them they're so cute they're baby ones i've never seen them before I think they're really cute some baby tomatoes some lettuce i'm actually going to use this for Christmas Day. I've never done a Christmas Day starter before because we normally just miss breakfast and because we've got a big dinner, we don't really bother. But this year, I'm going to do Simon a what do you call it? Prawn? Is it prawn salad? Like a prawn starter. So I'm going to have that in a nice little posh glass with some prawns on the top, which I've got in the freezer. I've um, also got some coleslaw as well. I'm also going to be making a nice bowl of cold tomato pasta. I've got a quiche. I've also got these, which I thought were really cute. Miniature little, like, crunchy toast. So I'm thinking, put them out with some butter. You can either put cheese on it or some of the 
pate that I've got. Also got some miniature bread rolls for Boxing Day. So it's just kind of like meats and salads really, which I think is what everyone has Boxing Day, don't they? Also got some pickles as well, brown pickle, yellow pickle. And I think I've got some red shredded cabbage somewhere, some beetroot is probably down there. Oh yeah, and some pickled onions, salad cream, which is down there. Oh, my kitchen is just a mess at the minute, guys. Absolute mess. Um, and then, yeah, so these little crispy bits here, I'll also put some bowls of crisps out. These giant skips are for the kids for Christmas Eve and watching a film night. Um, and then pudding-wise, for Boxing Day, we're not really big kind of, well, I am. I do love a cake or two. So um, I didn't go too mad with the puddings because everyone's normally full up Boxing Day and Christmas Day and the pudding doesn't really get eaten. So I've just got a chocolate cake that I'm going to put into really nice slices and have it all laid out pretty and a nice Victoria sponge. That is my absolute favourite. I love a Victoria sponge. Got a Christmas pudding and also got these for fitter rolls for Boxing Day. Look at them. Don't they look nice? That was £3.50 um what else have we got i've got a chocolate gatto as well which is in the freezer and i've also got some ice cream um no i haven't got ice cream i need to go and pick that up actually from iceland don't i so we will have ice cream and i've got jelly for the kids as well um oh crackers you need crackers don't you boxing day to go with your cheese um and then i have got what do I need to show you? Oh, for breakfast. So for Christmas Eve, you guys will see all of this. I'm going to video all of Christmas Eve breakfast and I'm going to video the table for you. So for breakfast, I'm doing two round platter trays of two different types of breakfast. So I'm going to do a cold breakfast and a hot breakfast. So one tray is going to have scones on it, some chopped up bananas, some strawberries, and then a bowl of yogurt. Um, and I've also got these miniature little marmalade and a little miniature jam. I've also got a grapefruit, which I'm going to cut up. I've never tried grapefruit before, so I'm going to give that a try. Um, do I have anything else? Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to make some pancakes as well to go on there. And I think that's it for the cold breakfast, unless I'm forgetting something. I think that's it. And then we're going to have a tray of hot breakfast. So bacon, sausages. I'm going to have baked beans. Fried bread, normal bread, um, fried tomatoes, eggs, scrambled egg. Oh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. I can't wait till the morning. <laughs> I'm going to have a proper pig out tomorrow. So, yeah, that is everything that I pretty much got in Tesco today. Some Bucks Fizz, Pringles. Is it Christmas if you don't have Pringles? Um, and then, oh, mince pies, of course. I had to get a box of mince pies as well. And then I've just been sort of trying to tidy up this cupboard. So what have I even got in here, guys? Some selection boxes which are for the kids. Those are the biscuits that we're going to decorate. Oh, these are what we're going to make today. Looking forward to making these donuts. And I'm also going to sprinkle some cinnamon in there just so they're nice and Christmassy. I've got a few bottles of apple tizer as well. I do need to actually go out today. I might get them while I'm in Iceland. I need to get some after eights because I do like to put them on the dinner table on everyone's plate. Oh, I've got another bottle of um, apple tizer here. Look what I did with it. <laughs> I've had these for such a long time. I think I got them in one blow. Aren't they cute? So I normally give them to the kids because it's their favourite drink on Christmas Eve. So that's Jake's one. And then you've got Jessica's one. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I've got some J2O's as well in the back there. Orange juice, pineapple juices, I've got loads of apple ties up, also got some beers, got some Corona and some Budweiser. But yeah, I literally need to just tidy up this cupboard now. And now that it's like Christmas Eve Eve, I can empty all this now and it could all come out. The kids can have the chocolates, they can have the drinks because they've been dying to get in this cupboard. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pop all of this food shop away. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Tesco. I hate putting the shopping away. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely hate it. Because I still, <laughs> you're probably gonna think I'm weird. But ever since COVID now, when I do a weekly food shop, I come home and I have to wipe everything down with like an anti-back wipe. So I've got that horrible task to do now of wiping all this down and popping it into the fridge. But um, yeah, that's everything that I did need to show you today, guys. I hope you've loved seeing the food shop with me. Um, bit of a short video, I know, but there's not really much else I can kind of show you guys, because otherwise it will just be dragging on forever. 
Um, can't wait to show you Christmas Eve though. I cannot wait to show you the table all done and the breakfast all ready. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. Hope you enjoyed today. Hope it's not too hectic for you. Hope you're all just kind of sitting back now, relaxing and just, just enjoying it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have tuned in and you have stayed to the end, thank you so much. And I will see you tomorrow for Christmas Eve. Take care guys and Merry Christmas.